This video presents the usual flows for setting up Git support for a DVT project. When you create or import a project using the File New DVT Project wizard and point to a directory within a Git repository, the Git setup is done automatically. Notice the newly added repository in the Git Repositories view and the Project Explorer decorators. If you enable Git support after having already configured a DVT project, right-click on the project and go to Team, Share Project, then follow the wizard steps. If you use the DVT CLI shell script to automate project creation, simply point to the .git directory within a repository using dash git. From the git repositories view, you can add an existing local repository or clone, for example, from a server. Assuming that the repository already contains configured DVT projects, you should now import them. Right-click on the working tree, Import Projects. All the flows described so far assume that your DVT project, that is, the directory containing .dvt and .project, is placed in a directory below or at the same level with the repository. Sometimes you might need to place the DVT project in a directory outside any Git repository, for example when it contains files from multiple Git repositories. In such situations, you can still use the Git plugin functionality for all repositories independently. However, decorators and context menu actions will not be available in the Project Explorer.